Banana smoothie. This is the remnants of it, but a liter, around a liter of freshly squeezed orange and grapefruit juice. So, so good. Super nutritious. So Joe and I are off to hit a night on the town. Got our smoothie, got our fast food. We're gonna head off to the grocery store, get some provisions, cause I'm out of food. Just got a few bananas left. So we'll see what happens. If Joe wants to come into the store, usually he's pretty shy. If Joe wants to come in, we're gonna, he's gonna film. So, uh, yeah, he's a little shy right now. He's camera shy, but we'll get him talking. May your bananas always be right. So these weeds here aren't bad. They're in this flower garden, but they're not bad. It's a lot like bad ideas in the mind. Or habits that aren't serving you yet. Anymore. If you have ideas, if you have things you want to accomplish, but things are holding you back, things are sucking up the nutrients of your mind, get rid of them. Uproot them and cultivate the things that you want in life. Cultivate the ideas that are going to let you attain your goals. It's as easy as that. It takes daily diligence, but sooner or later, one flower is going to become many. So while the potatoes are cooking, why not take the time to knock back a liter of water? Easily done, easily done, easily done. Ooh, dinner for one. Four pounds of potatoes. That does not look appetizing. This is a soup. This is organic vegan soup. So I'm just going to use as a sort of condiment for this. Looks a little bit better now. So we'll see you for the meal. So this is a $5 meal. All you can eat meal, four pounds of potatoes, a can of that soup, added some water to knock back the salt a little bit. Um, cut down the salt, cut down the fat. Very, very slim soup, but still had some sodium. But it's all good, just add a little bit of water, make it more soupy. This meal, five bucks. You can't go wrong for an all-you-can-eat meal. Super, super nutritious meal for five bucks. Here we go, easily done, easily done, easily done. 3,600 calories for the day, 3,800 calories for the day. Looking good. Breakfast, lunch, banana smoothies, banana smoothies, breakfast, lunch. And then a little bit of juice as a snack. First you squeeze juice and the potatoes and that soup for dinner. 57 grams of protein, solid, solid protein. 900 grams of carbs, 10 grams of fat. Vitamins good, minerals good, everything's good. Where do you get your protein as a vegan? I don't know. Where do you get yours? Sweet. So I don't know about you, but I am sick and tired of hearing people say, oh, you can't do that, you can't do that. A lot of times people hear my dream. People hear my dream and they think, it's, oh, it's a pipe dream. It's, oh, it's cute, but it's not really going to happen. It's either because they, they, uh, they really don't think it's going to happen or they're jealous. Because a lot of times people, people get worked up in the status quo. They find out, they see what everyone else is doing and they're like, yeah, you know, but I really want to try this. And then they get into my age, their early 20s, and they say, oh, well, there's not really much time left, so uh, let me get a job and a career and then you know, I'll settle down for somebody and then I'll die. I'll, I'll, I'll emotionally die, I'll intellectually die. I'll get into this routine of everyday life, of ordinary life. Not normal life, but the common life that most people live. I'll get in that and I'll, 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 I'll play Xbox and I'll, feel, I'll be fine. I'll feel fine, I'll be fine, I'll be whatever. Is that what you want to be? 
Do you want to be the ordinary per person or do you want to be a warrior, have a warrior's type mentality? Go through life not at the search of comforts, but at the search of overcoming challenges. Because the ordinary man, the ordinary woman, the ordinary person looks for those comforts and says, oh, what can I do to get those? What can I do to get the TV? What can I do to get the Xbox, get the PlayStation, get the, get the you know, steak meals and the this and that and the nice fancy hotels and the plush carpets? So this is a bit of a rant, but it gets me, oh man, because I see such potential in people. I see people when they're, when they're at, I see people when they're angry. I see people when they're angry and frustrated and pissed off that they're getting shit on by the corporate America, by their job, by whatever, by their spouse, whoever it is. I see people getting shit on by people that, that are in their lives and they get fucking frustrated and they get pissed. And I love to see this because Fear is a bigger emotion. It's a more powerful emotion than empathy. Empathy sucks. Empathy will get you nowhere. Hoping that something will get better won't get you anywhere. How about taking action? Taking action will get you somewhere. You fall on your face? Fine. Get the fuck back up. Grab your sword and keep charging. It's easier than people think. But the, the, the trick is to just fuck, or fuck off what other people think. And yeah, that's so hard in today's society. But look at what kids do. Kids don't give a shit. Yesterday, two days ago, whatever, I was teaching, I was teaching kids how to slackline. They don't give a fuck what other people think, what their ego is telling them, and they don't even have an ego. They just do. They say, "Hey, this looks like fun, and let me just fucking do it." They don't have any excuses. Oh, my, I don't. I'm not good at balance, or I'm not good at, um, you know, I have back problems, or yeah, my knee. You know, I used to be a runner, but my, you know, my legs aren't as strong as they. These are just excuses. Your mind is holding you back. Your mind is holding yourself back from making the positive changes that you want in your life, from doing the things that you want to do. You're your own worst enemy. And when you realize this, life becomes easy because then you realize that you have the power to change whatever it is that's happening up here. There's no such thing as a bad situation or a bad habit or a bad whatever. It's only a bad or a negative way of looking at it. Because I could get shot right now and my leg could get blown off. And I might think, oh, well, this is the worst situation. This is the worst situation in my life. Oh, it's terrible. What am I going to do? I can't run. I can't cycle anymore. Or I could think, wow, new, new way to experience life. New way. I can get really jacked in the upper body. Finally be swole, you know. Get the ladies because the ladies like biceps. And they like wheelchairs. You see, there's, so I can totally look at the same situation, but a different light. Negative, positive. So there's no, don't, don't blame your fucking situation. Don't complain. There's compl complaining has nothing to do with it. Complaining will just keep you in your situation that you're in. Complaining will just allow you to maintain this fucking level of apathy, this level of shittiness, this little level of adequate nature. Instead of rising up, because you're scared of rising up, because you get scared of, oh, my fall, or, oh, what did this person say about me? But what about my wife? You know, my wife doesn't want me to do that. What? Get some fucking balls. The only way you're going to get balls is by grab them. Grab your balls and go with them. Oh, but I don't have balls. Fucking grow balls. It's easy. So, bit of a rant, bit of a yelling fest, but the shit like this gets me frustrated because I see such potential in people. It gets me going. So, anyway, enough ranting, enough raving. Put your comments down below. Let me know what you think of this video. This is a sort of middle length video. Let me know if you like these videos or you like the really longer ones. And as always, subscribe if you haven't already so you can see these videos, so you can get them when they're ripe, if you know what I mean. And let us be thankful for where we're at. And I'm not saying don't be happy. Don't be unhappy with what you have. Always be happy and always be, have the attitude for gratitude. Have a gratitude attitude for where you are in life, but never fucking settle. Always strive for something else. If you reach your goal, great, go another one. If you create a piece of art, great. Share it with the world and then keep going. Make the next masterpiece. So this is Jaybird signing out. Simply Vegan, this is the simple truth. See you tomorrow for day 23. Peace.